So welcome to level 5, the Crown Dungeon. Alright, let's get this started. so cool that we have the Master Sword so early in the game. Alright, now it looks like this is going to be the first dungeon where we have to deal with the blue and red tiles. These things here control which tiles go up between red and blue. Also, if you're standing on top of them when you hit the switch, then you'll be on top of them as well. Keep that in mind for later. that anti-fairy. hook so that we can lay down that pressure switch. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Just like that. statues, we're going to have to bounce seeds off of all three of them. Just got to get just the right angle. Oh, I nailed it first try. That got us our first small key. Oh, let's backtrack. chest down below, with another key in it. Nice. Let's keep going. And first, we're gonna have to hit that switch. this way. Come on. Alright, 
let's try resetting their position. There we go, just like that. Now, I think you could try to follow these guys along these invisible paths, but I found that it's just, it's much easier to wait until they get in just the right spot. Use the switch up to switch places and you can get the chest. Ra rather than fumbling around trying to figure out where the invisible paths are. Mini boss time. I actually remember this thing as well. We have to pick up this ball and throw it at this thing. Of course, it's going to be trying to pick it up and throw it at you as well. Pretty sure that this enemy here was an enemy in Link's Awakening, if I remember correctly. And I think you had to do the exact same thing to kill him in there. Re-equip our red ring. And I don't think we can proceed this way just yet. Nope, so we'll have to come back this way later. That's fine. stairs to our right. We can't scale that cliff right there. Not until we get this item's treasure. So this is another place we'll have to come back to. Just to put a little spring in our step and speed things up. Switch again. Oh yeah, that was definitely a mistake on my part. Darn it. Well, we'll have to fix that. Yep. 
first we'll grab the chest, then we'll head for that loft. Okay, good, we got the dungeon map finally. Hmm. The first floor really does look like a crown as well. This is another puzzle that we can't do yet. Right, let's light them torches up. Just like that. Alright, here we have a puzzle. Yellow two spaces above us, blue di diagonally to the right, and red to the right. So that looks right for the right hand side. Then yellow to my left, red diagonally to the left, and blue two spaces down. There we go. And that got us the cane of Somaria. Or Somaria. Use it to create blocks. That's exactly what it does. Just like this. You can use it as a platform and you can push it around as a shield. Or to weigh down a switch or whatever. Now here's where we can use it right away. In this puzzle room. Also, as you can see, you can only make one at a time. If you try to make another, then the first one disappears. Out of my way, geese. Okay, 
good. So far, so good. Now we can jump on top of the blocks here, which will take us to the north. Lost my sword beam, so I'll have to use the seed shooter for, to hit it from afar. Oh wait, I'm missing a key. Oh, that's not good. I know exactly where it is. It's down that staircase I couldn't go earlier. That's right. staircase. Things are starting to be a pain in the butt. There we go. Now we can get that last staircase. In this area, if you try to push one statue, then both of them move. But if you use the cane, then you can block one of them. Like this. That keeps them in place, and that gets us the last key that we need. Well, what I assume would be one of the last keys, anyway.
do this again. stuck. to me. Alright, need the cane here again. Now this is kind of like that other block pu pushing puzzle, in that all the same colored ones will move at the same time. We saw the boss room way earlier in the dungeon, so let's backtrack our way over to it. Faster to save and quit. Oh well. Probably already halfway there. Oh. 
Okay, boss time. It's time for our little game. I break apart. If you can force me back together and blow me away, it ends. But before you do, I shall take a bit of your soul. Now begin. Hm. When he's in his full body form, he kind of looks like uh, an enemy from Mega Man. Specifically, Woodman stage. Anyway, we're gonna need the Cane of Samaria here for this fun fight. We need to force his two halves back together. Like so, then we can hurt him. Well, maybe not an enemy from Mega Man. Mega Man 2, but... At least one of the platforms. One form together. Where the heck's he going? Oh, he missed it. There we go. Now they'll fuse back together. We got him. Barely, but we did get him.
You got the sacred soil and essence of time. All that lies sleeping in the bosom of the earth will know the nourishing warmth of the sacred soil. We're out of here.